Uh, we're here to talk about Project Goal. Project Goal, greater opportunity for athletes to learn, um, has been in, uh, in action since 2004, focusing on helping kids uh, achieve uh, and, and realize opportunities through the power and the passion of the sport of soccer. Um, for There's a lot of people I know here involved with soccer are aware that soccer is the most popular sport in the world. It's also the most economic. All you need is some space and something around and you've got a game going on. I've been in the program for like five years. I used to struggle a lot as a kid, but after I came to this program, it just helped me out with like my, with my schoolwork. And it, it was a great place for me to like to play soccer and meet new friends. Ready, set, go! My team, my team. Fourteen. I know. It's one. Stop. Three, five. No, it's not. No, I know. I'm doing it backwards. I'm doing it backwards. Oh. Three five because I can't really do it good in my head. Three five. Mm, fifteen. So well, I mean, that means you jerk off. Oh yeah, fifteen, fifteen. Oh, you took the one. Seven. Ty is already in. Fourth. Tom's gonna show us how to do it now. Watch this. What? Oh yeah. So we got 10 to the 4th. Maybe next week. Yeah, let me know when you guys can play. Or a word. When you write your name. Sure. Oh, I think it might. I think it might not be. Eight. What's 64 minutes? So not just one word. I know, right? My dad just put it in. Oh That's kind of weird. That's fuzzy. That's I'm all vinyl. You're free. Get out of here. I'm all My name is Alexander Zane, and this is my AVA in the program. I really like it in Project Go because you get an opportunity you don't have in other places, you know. Like paying money for for being in the program is free, like you don't have to pay. Some other places, like you got to pay for your shoe, you got to pay for the clothes, you got to pay for other stuff. But here, like you just come, you do your work, at the same time you're playing soccer. So like, it's very really good. Pretty consistently. It's just a great program for me because uh, you know I, I like to teach. I like to I like to help the kids, and then afterwards you get to play. So it's not just a reward for them to come out here afterwards. It's just, you know really a reward for everybody who's involved to get to go outside and run around and have fun.
Who has the ball? Oh! Oh! Josh! 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 <laughs> through, through word of mouth, um, kids started to come and know about the program through other kids and their families. So more and more kids wanted to be in the program. Um, so now actually we have uh, over our, uh, 150 kids want to be in the program every year. That's just from Central Falls. Yeah. And we probably never have more than 10 spots. And that usually happens when kids leave the program because they get into one of the Hi private guys. schools. Hi. Or they move or they graduate high school and they go on to college. Um, or, you know, we do drop kids from the program too, meaning if they can't abide by the rules of the program, um, they can't be here on both days every week, then we drop them from the program because there's a lot of kids who do want to be in the program. Yeah. Um, and the kids get a lot out of it. If they take advantage of the things that we help them with, um, including getting to private schools and things like that, um, a lot of good things can happen for the kids. And we have 20 kids in, um, in private schools like Moses Brown, like Wheeler, like Rocky Hill, and they're all on full scholarships to go to those schools. It costs mm -hmm. anywhere between twenty and $30,000 a year. It's like going to college. Teachers are very nice here. And there's second graders, first graders, and any other grade, but some middle schools or high schools, um, kids help us do our homework and and their are boys and girls, different people coming here. I was the first girl to be entered into Project Gold, and I was invited by Coach Javier and Coach Darius to participate in this program. And at the thought of making Project Gold history, I was pretty excited, but I was kind of nervous a little, you know, being in a room full of all boys, it can be intimidating sometimes, especially when you're the one girl out of like, how many boys was it like two years ago? 50. 50, just about 50. So, room full of like 50 boys, like three soccer teams, they split it up into different teams to go with, and then there's one girl. <laughs> they used to call me the girl, and they were like, yeah, sure, I'll pick the girl. <laughs> and I kind of got used to that name, I guess, and they still use it sometimes, even though now there's about eight girls. Yeah. They have the guidance from these people to go to a private school, and then after that, hopefully go to college and get the funds and the financial aid to go to college. When I was younger, I didn't have that. So I grabbed to whatever I was given to me, and I was lucky enough to graduate from college. But it was very difficult, and I speak in the language, my parents didn't speak the language, and there was nothing out there for us to go. There was no practical, there was nothing. So it was basically whatever we wanted to do. And not a lot of the kids in Project Gold had the same opportunities because their parents probably work in a factory or probably work who knows where because they don't have the opportunity like I did. So I was lucky enough and I, I mean she's gonna be even more she's even more blessed because she has Project Gold too and she has my guidance. But basically Project Gold telling her this is what you can do and all the opportunities there. For me, it's 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 um, it's an honor to be able to share my own culture with the kids in the program, um, and um, also given the fact that I come from a Hispanic country, um, it also helps me as a teacher and the kids identify themselves more um, with me as a teacher, as a coach, because I also speak their language, so I understand a lot. Um, you know their background, their ancestors, their culture. Uh, so that's that's a very important part um, of the program. I think the younger kids get a lot out of being around older kids, not only from an academic standpoint, from a mentoring standpoint, but also on the soccer field. Um, you know, they, they have to increase their level very quickly um, because physically they're not there. So also kids who come to us young improve as players, and then, you know, the idea is all for, all for them to mature um, as students. So. Um, just hope we're going to continue to be around. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 